Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can create this part very easily using 1CNC. Now, if we take a look, we can see that we have a line here that's tangent, that's through 35 degrees. We also have a fillet up here. There's no location for that, so it's simply just going to be a fillet between this line and this arc. So this will be a real interesting set of geometry to create here. But the same thing applies. You look at the shape, see if you have any fillets and chamfers. We can put those on later on. Just work on the basic shape first, and then put your holes, fillets, and chamfers in later on. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start by creating this arc first. This one has a radius of 35 millimeters. So let's get working with that. I'm going to turn our blueprint layer off. Let's head over here to the main toolbar and we'll grab the arc command. And that uh, diameter is actually going to be 70 for that. Okay, so we'll type in 70. And we want to place this one at, we're going to use coordinate input for this. This is going to be placed at x minus 25. And the Y value is going to be at minus 80. That looks good. So we'll click OK to that. Now, there's another arc that gets created on the inside. And that one has a radius of 30 millimeters. So we're going to make that 60 for a diameter. And we want to place that right at the arc center. So I'm just going to left-hand mouse click. And then when we're finished, we're going to right-hand mouse click. Let's turn our blueprint layer on and see how we're doing. This looks pretty good. Now, why don't we work on these two lines next? All right, so we'll turn our blueprint layer off. Let's head back over to the main toolbar. We're going to grab our line tools. We're going to start with line. I'm going to start this right at the datum at x0, y0. We can type in coordinates, but I'm simply just going to snap here. All right, now this line goes all the way to x of 130. So we'll type in 130 for that and click OK. And then we're going to come down to y minus 70 for this. So y minus 70, that looks good, and we'll click OK. When we're finished, we can right hand mouse click. Okay, now what we need to do next is we probably want to create this line that starts here and then terminates tangent to this circle right here. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our line tool. We're going to grab the very beginning of the line and then we just come close to the circle and we wait till we see that tangency symbol. See that little orange tangency symbol? And you'll also note your tangent when you have this uh, dashed line that you see that comes from the center line up. So then we'll left hand mouse click and then when we're finished we're going to right hand mouse click. Alright, that looks great. Now let's work on this line next. Okay, so what we want to do is create a line that's tangent to this outside arc that passes through 35 degrees. Let's turn our blueprint layer off. Now, you would think you would want to just jump right in and use the line tool, and you can definitely grab anywhere along the circumference, but when you're doing that, uh, you really don't or can't guess where that line's going to be at 35 degrees and tangent. So my start point isn't necessarily tangent. You can see I can deviate from a tangency by moving my line anywhere that I want. So we don't want to use the, the standard line command for that. What we want to use is this guy right here called the line tangent tool. Now typically this tool gets used for a different situation. Let me demonstrate. I'm just going to quickly sketch a small arc. We'll put it down here. Okay, so here's what this tool is typically used for, the line tangent. This is where you can just grab two arcs, and when, you're, uh, when you grab the two arcs, one C and C will create lines that are tangent between those two arcs. So it's a great command for that. But you can also use this to create a line that starts tangent to an arc, and then you can also further tell it what degree you want to pass that through. So let's undo these shapes I just made. I'm going to hit the undo button. You can also hit control Z, like control zebra on your keyboard to undo. That's just a standard Windows undo command. Let's go with line tangent. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the arc, and now you can see that line is sliding around the arc, and it's tangent no matter where I move it. Now we can further lock this in by putting in an angle. So let's type in 35 degrees for that, and now we're locked in at 35 degrees and tangent, and that's exactly what we want. Now if you'd like, you can further nail things down by typing in a length. Uh, here, so you could make the line any length that you want, but I'm just going to come over here and just left hand mouse click and just digitize it right there. And when we're finished, we'll right hand mouse click. So I'm thinking that looks great that we know it's through 35 degrees and it's tangent to that arc. And if we bring our, our blueprint layer on, you can see that lines up perfectly there. 
All right, great. So now let's work on this circle. We can see this circle looks like it's tangent right here. It has a radius of 20. All right, so let's build this. So to do that, we're going to head back over here to the main toolbar. I'm going to grab this command here. A radius of 20 means we have a diameter of 40. And you know what I think I want to do is let's turn our blueprint layer off first. Let's go back up here now. So we have a diameter of 40. Okay, and so what we want to do is just place this at this location. Now you can snap it if you want to, or you can type in coordinates. If you want to type in coordinates, we could, for example, uh, type in x of 130 minus 20. That gives, and then if I hit the equal sign, that gives us the x value. And then for a y value, we know that's going to be at y minus 70. That looks good, so we'll click OK to that. And then when we're finished, we'll right hand mouse click. All right, so that looks that looks great. So now what we want to do is let's create this fillet. Let's turn our blueprint layer back on. That has a radius of 15 millimeters. So let's go back to our fillet command. And the fillet radius is going to be 15. And I'm going to digitize this counterclockwise. So here and here. And then when we're done, we just right hand mouse click. All right, that looks great. And what we want to do now is let's perform some trimming. I think probably the scissors command would be great. We covered this a little earlier. The scissors command just gets rid of what you digitize. So I do not want this arc in here. So I'm going to left click and left click. And then when we're finished, we'll right hand mouse click. Let's bring our blueprint layer back on. And it looks like we did a good job on that. All right, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.